Margot would be convinced that was film star Roger Moore behind the wheel. Men at the Chiswick Bus Training Centre in London know better. Only their mate Morris Patchett could put a bus into a skid like that on a 25-foot road and come out smiling. nearest I'll ever come to playing opposite James Bond Morris. How did you get involved with 007 in the first place well, anyway? Well the studio's come down to Chiswick here to interview about 20 instructors for the part to uh, double with James Bond. Well we thought he was pulling our leg of course, you know. <laughs> and uh, of course when they said Jamaica for five weeks, well this was something we couldn't believe. Then we had to go on the skid bus and sort of show them how we handle the skid bus in this. And uh, I was the final one to get chosen. Our type of skidding in Chiswick is entirely different to what you do for stunt work. I mean, uh, when you're stunt skidding, you've got to control the vehicle. Coming out of the skid, because skidding on a 25-foot road is really controlling a vehicle. But when you're on the skid patch, we just let them go right round and let them stop themselves. Did you actually have to teach Roger Moore how to skid it, or were you doing it all for him? Oh, no, I'd done all the skid work, of course, but uh, I taught him how to handle the vehicle for run-up shots. Uh, he'd done a load of fast run-up shots to the incidents like you know yeah. then i took over for the stunt work but he could handle the vehicle all right you know he's quite so a you good taught driver. you taught james bond how to drive a That's london right. bus how to you? handle a london bus <laughs> how did you get on with him very nice he's a very nice chap was he very nice to teach very easy to learn you know he's very nice he was. Mm. did did you have any sort of adventures with him or anything oh yeah once or twice you know we uh we were doing one shot we we're coming down a bumpy rough road between the palm trees of course, you know, we take a couple of shots. We'd done one shot and we were reversing up. I told them to keep it out of the side. We just had a rainstorm, like, and the back wheels went down a dip and we got the back wheels stuck in a mud hole. Of course, I had to get up the front and jerk it out again. That was a big laugh all the time with him, especially. It's always making jokes, you know. And then the other incident was we were doing one run-up shot and, of course, we went third enough, so I shouted to him, you know, that's fair enough, Roger. No, he said, we go down the road to turn round. We went miles, we couldn't find nowhere to turn round, and you're trying to reverse it in about a 12-foot road, you know. But well, he just and thought he knew seen, better. never seen laughs in all your life with Jane Seymour and that taking a mickey. It's marvellous to watch him, you know. <laughs> this but, is an actual London bus that went Yeah, it, um, as they were shipping it over, as they were shipping it over there, sort of thing, you know, lifting it on off the boat, one of the springs got broke or something. So, of course, they had a new one made over there. Because I had to check it all over and make the brakes work, because the bus won't skid if you've got no brakes. But what for you, Morris, was the climax of the whole trip out there? Well, in the film, like, uh, James Bond and his girlfriend use this bus to escape. Of course, for me, in the climax of it was taking this 14-foot uh, two bus under a 9-foot six bridge. Of course, it's a marvellous experience when you've never done it. And because, as I say, when you're approaching the bridge and you know you've got 14-foot six above you, it's a fantastic feeling when you go under, and then you realise you're a single decker when you come out the other side. <laughs>